Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our play here of Foundry and Early Access, and let's see, what do you want to say to me, buddy? Expand smelters. Beep boop. Okay. Okay, math genius. If it takes eight small smelters to fill up a conveyor belt, then we'll build eight for each metal ore. Oh, okay, they tell you the ratio. That's very friendly. All right, so we need to build eight for each belt. So that means that for every ore node that we have, we want eight. Good to know. Um, and we are working, uh, we were doing some research. Let's go to the research interface. So what we just did was, um, do we want to do a container? Um, so I guess this is what? It's just a bigger chest. Um, I probably want a balancer. A door for buildings. Wow, that's cool. Inventory size boost. Um, yeah, give me an inventory size. And you can see there's three science packs in there. Um, which is not a lot. Are you doing research? Yes, 2%. Are you making the stuff? Yes, you're making it. And you can see the belt is full. But what they want us to do um, is... Oh, uh, let me go open my pad. Is that where it is? No. It's in map? No. Oh, I know there's a way for me to see these different objectives that the game has for me. Here's my research, that's fine. Uh, they do want me to build smelters, and I saw that. Tutorial tasks. Right, right, here we go. Um, no. Oh. Fiddle D. I know there was a way to... Like, it gives you these different... Quests. All right, well, we're doing... Um, anyway, they want you to build eight smelters. I saw that. Um, so let's do that. So this is making these things. How are we doing power-wise? Um, we're doing fine. I'll top it off. So they said eight smelters for one um, drone digging device. So this is a, a smelter right here. So let's just go ahead and craft some smelters. So to make more smelters, um, I need one, two, but I don't have electric components, and that requires a wire coil, which requires rods. So at the end of the day, the issue is that I'm not carrying enough rods. Now, these are plates. Um, now, I'm just going to... How many plates do I have in my backpack? Um, okay, but I could use more, so... No, 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 give me, give me the plates. There, perfect. And, oh, this is also a smelter. So I have two smelters, so I need to make six more for each. Sure, sure. How are you doing? What are you making? Yeah, I'll take all these rods. You've got 200. You don't need that many. It actually stopped making them. Was I even doing anything with these? Yes, I was putting them into this guy who was turning them into um, also rods. No. Yeah, I wasn't actually taking these out. Okay. So what I should be doing is storing these, because they, they're just storing right here, which is not good enough. So for example, I could then... 
Well, let's just co focus on building more smelters, I guess. Alright, so hopefully that's enough. And then... The idea is... Um... This is... Okay, so let's just kind of... Um, oops. Rotate this, and rotate. So we can put four out here. Can I get rid of this rock? You know it. Okay, and then... Um, let me just make the factory a bit bigger here. So my idea is, what if I just had a belt going like this, okay? And then um, we're going to go to crafting. I need a ton of these. And these. Okay. So then we have a smelter. And we want to put the smelter in such a way that they can all... Uh, we need to move it away from this patch so that it's not going to be obst obstructing uh, the ore field. But... In this case, yeah, you need so much space. You know what I'm going to do is, uh, given the fact that I need a lot of space, I'm going to go to, I'm just going to, um, kind of get rid of these for a moment. And build this so that it goes like this, right, um, there we go, and then I can drop down a smelter that is, well, let's do it the other way around, give me some of these loaders, oh, I'm making a lot of stuff right now, okay, I'm making stuff by hand, I eventually we'll automate all of this, so I don't really have to craft by hand as much, anyway, um, the idea would be, I need loaders, and I want to just practice, what would this look like? Okay, so it's going to take this off of here, and then the building can be here. So we can put this here. Okay. Um, and this could be a smelter, which, I mean, it is a smelter, but then if we want... Okay, I need to go like this. Sorry, I'm just kind of like thinking out loud about this process. I don't want to cover this, so this is fine. But then if I wanted to take away... And we wanted to do anything with these, we would need, like, a belt that comes over here. And then this way, we now can just stack all of these guys in line. So now it's making rods and putting them out there. And um, we can put then all of the rods onto this if we wanted, I guess. I mean, I don't know what ratio I want, but another thing I'm interested in is how much can I copy? Copy target with settings. Um, shift right mouse button um, copy okay so then we would just basically um, put a bunch of these guys in a row and then um, put these guys here so it's like here's the new smelter Uh huh, and then we have a conveyor belt that's continuing to come this way. Good. And then this belt obviously will keep it going somewhere. I don't know what we're gonna do. And then we'll uh, we need to build more loaders. Um, but I want output. 
default. What is... Uh, anyway. Um, output is fine for here because I know it, that's what I want. I guess I could just copy and just go back to default. Um, but now what you can see is that all of these are making rods. And they're putting them out to this belt. Now, I can make eight smelters and have it be supported by one conveyor belt of ore. But the question is, you know, how many... This conveyor belt, like, how good is it at processing rods? Like, you know, do I need to build a separate conveyor belt for every single one of these? I don't know. I'm just going to build this out. And then one thing I'd like is, uh, where's my storage guy? Logistics container. So I can't build this because I need machinery parts, um, which these require... Oh no, this is an advanced thing that I'm making. I've got these going somewhere. I'm running out of uh, fuel. I need to get some more biofuel. We got to get this automated. There. Right. Okay, so um, in this case, I'm just going to go to the power and uh, give you a bunch. Now, where am I making... This is just making science packs. Okay, yeah, this is what I want, these guys. So let's just follow this back and you can see that there's actually a good amount right here. So I'm just going to take a bunch off of this because it's been backed up. But now we can build a logistics container. Oh, we're out of plates already. Goodness gracious. Okay. So we're not making enough plates. Like this guy... Um produces plates, and so does this guy. This guy's plates are never taken, though. So, this is where we need to build, you know, more smelters. So we will. We'll expand this entire thing. We'll bring... Um, uh, we need to make way more of these. This is the guy that's digging up the ore. So, all I need is you to, um, yeah, yeah, go like this. And, um, it's output, that's correct. And then I'll put one plate under here, one belt that goes like this, and then we'll take a ramp. And we need to go slope down. Correct. Just like that. And then we actually need um, another ramp that goes slope up because of our horrible situation that I've built for myself here. But that's okay. Um, slope up. Yeah. Okay. And then, oh, we need one more of these. And then I'm going to just kind of bring this here. I'll leave a little bit of space, just in case, but um, the idea is... Uh, yeah, we'll bring it over here. We will slope up, and here it goes. So then now, we're going to have this, like, conveyor belt of ore. And we can get in here with the smelters, where we say, okay, um... Correct. No power. Oh, right, right, right. Um, I think if I just build one power thing, like, right here, then it gets power. It does. Tremendous. Okay, so now we're actually making more plates. 
which is what we're looking for. And then what I'll do is we will start over here. Um, you know, something wild like that so that we can just kind of go like this. I'm just completing... Oh, I need to do research. Second lane loader is pretty sick. Let's get a conveyor balancer. I like that you can just toggle the research on the go. You should be able to do that. And we are, and you can see it's slowly beginning to work. Now, what we want is um, every single one of these needs to be getting juice, as it were. And there it goes. It's almost there. Good. And then we want to build some loaders. Oh, I'm out of stuff. Okay, so I'll take the rest of these, and um, that looks bad. There we go. You know what, I need to look at what I can build. Like, what about, um, I can build a logistics container in a crate. Yeah, 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 smelter, drone miner, correct, correct. This is all good. Just looking at what I've got here. Um, okay, yeah, I've built everything. I didn't know if I was getting some, any kind of power automation yet or not. All right. So let me just run back to this side and look at, um, I need some rods. And how are you doing on power? There you go. And then go over here, and then now we can make um, some more loaders, which is what we're looking for. And let me run over here and just give this guy power. Wonderful. Um, and then now we can just say, okay. Well, actually, that's not what we want. Let me get rid of that. I need it on the other side. Um, so I'm going to um, push V and I'm going to just copy this guy. Oh, you have to push Q. Okay, right. I'm like right-clicking it. Like, why are you not copying? Okay, yeah, I gotcha. And then put it here. One, two, three, four. Just kind of like that. And then we'll go ahead and do this. And this should start filling up with um, plates. Except these are not the right one. Boy, I thought I copied the right thing. I did not. I messed that up. I'm embarrassed, but we got it. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here, and we need to make, you know, some of these. Bunch of these. Okay, so this is going to slope down. I'm going to run this conveyor belt with plates all the way home. We got something in the way. So my idea is basically um, just to put everything back at, at the base. So like if I come here, I can find all of my, you know, kind of extra storage.
Maybe I could talk to the robot for the quest. Yes, that's what you could do. You could talk to the robot to get the quests. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go here, bring this up. And you can see I already have a chest right here. Um, but what I'm going to do is just temporarily, I'm just going to kind of, you know, do this and then um, put this guy. Oh, wait, is that the right guy? Logistics container, it is. And are you getting plates? Because you should. Intake no foundation. Oh, right, right. Okay. Um, you know what? That's fine. Let me just redo this. No problem. It's nice to kind of just try to do my very best to link all of this together uh, because it'll just make life easier if I only have to power one thing. Oh, no, not that. No. Yeah, I like that. There you go. Perfect. Okay, and then... Um, put the logistics... Wait, 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 wait. Actually, one second. Don't I have another logistics container? I do. I have it right here. But it's never really actually storing science because I never have a surplus because I'm always researching. So I can't reuse that. I mean, I could, but let's just have it... Like, you know, we'll have our own little guy. Um, you will go like this. And then we'll put this here. And then, there you go. There it goes. Now, is there a way, like, I wish there was a way to just take everything from this. Like, I have to click on this, and then I have to just, like, you know, I guess, shift-click to take, which is fine. Kind of. Anyway, uh, we have plates coming in. And then now, I'm going to, in a really roundabout and haphazard way, bring these rods all the way home. I'm just gonna build a massive platform here. It's actually not even necessary, but you never know. Okay. Oh, I'm out. Oh, it can jump. I was wondering about that. Yeah, it just jumps it up. Okay, great. And we need to basically just get this going over here. So kind of, um, how are we doing? No, no, we need to go one more. Okay, no problem. Um, this looks great. Like that. And then we'll just kind of um, do that. Now this storage then, I don't know how many can hold, will have both items. So I might not want everything in there, but they're going to be there for now. Okay, um, let me talk to my dude over here. So um, expand smelters. Okay, math genius. If it takes eight small smelters to fill up a conveyor belt, then we'll build eight for each metal ore. So that's my active task. Um, oh, okay. So it meant in a, it doesn't mean it wasn't counting my existing smelters. Um, either that or oh no no I just miscounted myself. I only built six. Okay, no problem. So then we'll just drop one here. Actually, two is what we need. And then um, we will continue this to here. I will build some more loaders. Uh, like so. Um, research done. 
Oh my god, what is this? Disaster is what that is. Okay, here. Do that. There you go. Um. Okay, here comes the ore. Well, it's interesting. Um, do we run out of power? No. It said eight smelters, but... Um, how many do I have right here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight smelters, but the... Man, that line looks empty to me. I don't know. Um, I don't see all of them going. And I have... I am splitting this off, yes, three times, but only to a capacity of eight total smelters. Anyway, whatever. I did what they wanted me to do. Let's go ahead and open up research. I'll tell you what I want is uh, some better mining speed. Let's go. And I'm going to need to pick up some items. What am I missing? Well, it's those darn plates again. But guess what? I have them right here. So I just click on this and I could just, you know, take just everything. I wish there was like a take everything button. You know, one of those giant buttons like they have on the other things where it's like, I really want all of this stuff. But anyway, I got it. Um, okay. Then what we need would be um, loaders. And uh, that looks good. All right. So then I'm going to go ahead and just open this up. And then I'm going to copy this. And we'll just put one here. And put one here. All right, sweet. Okay, I gotta say, I'm disappointed when I copy this thing that's in output mode. Why is the paste not in output mode? Like, why do I have to toggle that? I thought I was being clever and saving time. It, um, it just doesn't do it the way that I, I thought it was going to do it. Okay. Now you can see the plates are kind of, like, lagging a little bit. But that might be a power thing. I gotta get a lot of power here. Okay, let me check the power. Uh, machine efficiency, 70%. So, it eventually, like, this is going to be too much. But currently, this one burner can power everything. So I think then what I have to do is just... do this and there you go ah ah okay I will put this here and this here okay and then there they go and then I think um, to make life easier here I'm just going to go ahead and um, dismantle all of this for a moment so I can hope oh, I need some more of these make this smoother Uh-huh. 
output, output. Um, we want this to go down. And then curl back around to get home to that guy. Great. Okay, so now we have, you know, the smelters that they told us to build. Um, and we also have been doing some research, and we have this kind of, like, nice little central hub where we're collecting everything. All right, everybody. Well, I think we're doing beautifully here in Foundry, and I'd love to know um, how you're feeling about this game. Oh, my God, we ran out of power. Um, that's embarrassing. Oh, no, I don't have any. Oh, disaster. I have to go destroy trees. I'm sorry, everything. God, I wish I could go solar. Like, can we get a solar panel in here? Must I just burn logs? It's sad. There we go. <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for sharing any tips and advice that you have about this game, if you've been checking it out, too. I'll check you guys in the next one. Take care.